Hi everybody, my name is Susana Pacinhas. I'm a UX design educator, mentor and coach. I have worked as a designer for 16 years and in the past years I started to teach and mentor students from all over the world and I noticed that there are a lot of common questions and doubts about specific topics. So I decided to create a series of videos covering those um, questions and needs in the hopes of you build a strong foundation into the core ideas, concepts and principles of design. Um, I hope everybody had a nice Christmas break and a nice uh, New Year's Eve and happy 2025. <laughs> so as you can see by my voice, uh, I've been with a little cold but I'm feeling better, so I'm starting doing videos again. Um, also, by the way, I started live classes um, about uh, UX UI uh, in Luma. I will share the link uh, below in my video. Uh, they are very affordable, I believe, and they are aimed to cover like topics that you might have doubts or things that you might need to practice that usually the boot camps um, don't cover or are too fast-paced for you to explore things more or practice more. Okay, so saying being that said, um, I was preparing a live class I gave yesterday about mood boards and how to use mood boards. Um, and I wanted to create some uh, quick wireframes uh, so that the students in the class could apply their mood board. And I thought about using UI, uh, sorry, AI, <laughs> too many similar terms. I thought about using AI to be fast because the purpose was just for them to do a quick exercise. Um, so I decided to explore a little bit the plugins and I want to share this with you um, because it could be very useful and it's probably going to be the future uh, of um, sketching UI, okay, um, doing wireframes and so on. So I went here to my plugins uh, and I just... Uh, start typing in here you see already what i used because it's the most recent but i start typing uh wireframe wireframing okay um and i found this one it's called wireframe designer okay and i thought to give it a try um and i just wanted a simple login screen okay so what i did was just uh, login or sign in sign up okay i wrote something like this first sign in, sign up, and ask to design, okay? It's thinking, let's see what it does. Then I thought, what? What the heck? <laughs> what the heck are they doing? I actually didn't want this. I wanted just a simple login screen with the buttons um, to sign in or sign up and just the fields and so on. And then I thought, of course, Susanna, we need to be very explicit. So writing the right prompts is something that probably you've been hurting um, all the time about using AI and so on. So that's what I did, okay? So I started to be more explicit on what I wanted, okay? I want a um, login screen with a minimal minimal um, layout with only the user uh, email and password um, and password oh my god I don't know why I'm writing I, I wonder if I write with errors if it still does the same thing we will try next login with minimal layout with the only with only the user email and password, text, field, and the um, buttons to sign in and sign up. I'm going to copy so I write with errors next so we see if it still draws the same thing. Okay, so I'm detailed about what I want. I just wanted a simple screen with all these fields uh, and let's ask it. It's designing, okay? And now, yes, it designed what I wanted, okay? Um, also very interesting that I saw was that it designed it, let's move it here, with auto layout already. And this was amazing because auto layout is something that I see everybody struggling, not only juniors, but seniors as well. Um, especially for people that are starting, is like, 
something that they get super uh, trapped into it and actually I feel it's kind of limiting a little bit creativity because people start putting auto layout uh, right away and so on. Well, nevertheless, uh, perfect, you can always break it apart, okay? Uh, let's give it another try exploring here this tool, okay? This is free, I didn't pay anything, but if you see here, there's five designs left, so probably you need to pay to do more, um, and of course, no, right? People that do these things, um, they, they need to leave as well, right? So let's see if we write with errors, if it's still... Uh, does something yeah let's see or if it gets confused just for us to try it okay this is also an experimentation with you guys <laughs> well it's yeah i mean sign because i said to sign in and sign okay but pretty much it's okay it still did it with a little bit of error so that's cool let's use the four designs left okay to explore other screens. So let's continue iterating on this login screen. I'm going to go back and add this, but I want to see that probably it uses like, um, it's more spread out or now I want to add it, uh, the social media login tools. Okay. Add the social media login uh, tools and spread out the content vertically okay so the thing is you if you are starting as a designer it might be harder for you to visualize things to write the right prompts that's why it's still very important for you to learn about design and principles and patterns and best practices and all of this stuff because you still need to visualize it in your head okay so writing a prompt that works it's only possible if you know what you are doing okay i always uh, think that or my what i think now about ai is that for people that have the training or they 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 lived in the pre-ai <laughs> or they were studying or educated in the pre-ai era they have this ability of um thinking abstractly about things, they know what they want to do or how things are done. If you learn directly into AI, it's going to be hard for you, okay, because you don't have the foundation. So don't forget about that and be careful with using AI without understanding what you're doing uh, because it's not going to end up uh, well for your process of being creative, innovative, and so on, okay? Uh, well, let's give it a try, okay? I'm trying for the first time going deeper into this with you guys. Let's see if it actually did what I asked or not. Not so much, actually. Social login. Maybe we need to say it's uh, boot buttons as well, okay? It did organize it vertically, but it went a bit crazy. Let's see. Login screen with minimal layout. Blah, blah, blah. Add the social media login buttons and spread out the content. Let's try it again just to see how it goes. You might end up actually spending quite a few time, I would say, doing this stuff or trying this stuff, but probably um, once you get the hang out of it, it's gonna be faster. I don't see it. Maybe it's on top of this. Or it did the same thing. Aha, it did the same thing. So let's be a bit more specific specific login screen with minimal layout with only the user email and password text field and the buttons to sign in uh, sign in with so probably need to be very specific google sign in with um, facebook sign in with um, let's leave it like this okay i don't remember anymore and sign up and sign up distribute the elements uh, vertically let's see what it does if it does what i have in my brain in my mind yes it did okay we really need to be very specific this is a very nice um, exploration. <laughs> we need to be very specific on how we want things. The only thing that I don't think is working here 
is to spread out the content vertically because uh, or maybe I can say that I want the buttons to be on the bottom let's give it a try uh, okay buttons and distribute maybe distribute out the elements or the input text fields and buttons equally equally in the page yeah so it's it's probably maybe better let's see i want this to occupy the entire space basically mm, not what i wanted to do i guess that's a lot there, there's a lot of uh, try no Aaron try we don't have any more uh, trials left <laughs> but i guess the next thing i would try would be so I would be okay with this page but I would need to find um, a way probably I would just say the sign in and sign up buttons are aligned to the bottom for example and the email and the password are or everything is aligned to the center vertically probably that would be what I needed to say very interesting to using AI to build your screens I can see how this could be fast but also probably there's a learning curve um, to master the prompts and how to use the tool to do exactly what you want so this is really time uh, saving nevertheless even if you do these tryouts it might end up being faster in the long run uh, but for now uh, I the time I took doing this I could have designed this page myself so I guess uh, it's useful if you master it that's my learning here so thank you for joining i hope you like this content today a little bit more exploratory but i still think it's cool to check this stuff um with you guys because uh this is where we are going um walking towards right um bye see you soon Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you clarify a little bit uh, your doubts about this topic. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on uh, Instagram at UXUI with Susana Pacinhas. Feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn as well. It's Susana Pacinhas. You can check my services. I have mentorships and programs specially tailored for junior designers, okay? at www.suzanopacinis.com. I'll leave all the information uh, below. Thank you. Bye.